I'm at the China Millennium Monument, which is also a uh, art museum. <coughs> Beijing World Art Museum. Contemporary Art Museum, Digital Art Museum. Military Museum was closed for renovations. So, this is really the only other thing to do unless you want to walk around the uh, park just north of here. Hmm. Where's this tower? And it's all fantastical juxtapositions here. Las Vegas. Oh, that's interesting. Fantastical juxtapositions. I'm waiting for the monkey on the bicycle to ride by. <laughs> now I've seen everything. Three hundred families, Hong Kong, Macau, two thousand fourteen. Refrigerators. Family photos. Paranakan. When I was in Singapore, they had the mixture of Malaysian and Chinese called Peranakan. I went to the Peranakan Museum. Grandfather and son, grandson. Ancient Chinese method. Outdoor adventurists. Let's bust down these old Soviet ideas now and we'll see all sorts of modern families. Modern Chinese families. Karate. Not a mixed ethnic families. These guys mean trouble. Prepared for the apocalypse. Oh, they're gonna have a baby. 
We got stars direct in our face. Kind of in the ground floor of the weird Millennium Monument. Sometimes they build big buildings in China, and it's a weird thing about I think Soviet uh, Soviet um, socialist state that uh, the top-down approach. You tend to get things built because maybe it's some big vision of some department head or whoever. And it's like, well, what is this building really for? And it takes a while to get a mission and be adapted because it wasn't organic, you know, from some personal guy's vision to start a museum about the hutongs. You know, that's a very organic museum. And luckily got funding from outside China to be started up. But you'll see, like, the Science and Technology Museum in Shanghai is a good example. It took them years to kind of get... The building, I think, to resemble like a comprehensive museum. Because they built the building first, then put the exhibits in them, and it was like, well, the exhibit's not very good or appropriate for this space. Kind of weird to go from one to the other. And it sorts itself out over time. But it can be kind of weird initially. I think. And there's like those old Soviet era museums, like the one there that was closed. What are we looking at here? Macau? Maybe it's Macau. I've not been to Macau. Well, that's it. Now there's other museums on the other floors. Is that what we do? World Art Museum. It's the monument. Shen Yang Ling Yan Shen Yu. Shen Yue, Shen, Sheng, Yan Ling, Shan, Shui, Hua, Zhang. It's okay to string together a couple of the characters to make like a double name, but anything beyond that gets a little crazy. It's like reading old Roman inscriptions. Hall of Modern Art Souvenir Shop. This is the floor one that we're on. Is there anything up the stairs? We've got stars direct in our face. I thought I was gonna see like uh, <clears throat> Octavian here pointing a gold statue or something. permanent exhibit on F2. 
you point you south, exit on second floor. Digital gallery, it says downstairs. That was closed off. Millennium Hall. Like they'd be redoing the permanent exhibit over there. Beijing souvenirs, China Millennium Monument chain. Uh, I can go outside at least. The park is Yu Yu Yuan Tan. Garden altar, it's you. There's the back of the museum. Looks all gutted on that corner. See right through it, the uh, military museum. Millennium. We've got stars direct in our face. It's like the most annoying song ever. We can't go up to it. That's some straight up bullshit. More shit's closed uh, in Beijing right now than can't imagine. Building the Millennium, why the fuck is it closed? It's already fucked up, it's open. I'm gonna say, it's what, 14 years old? Close it, renovate it. <laughs> Blow it up, it's had a stay. I'm a little crab apple when stuff I trek out to is closed for renovation. I want to see serious art. I don't want to see stickers on a fridge. Deng Jiaxian from on Hui province, one of the pioneers in research of nuclear weaponry theory and major initiator of nuclear testing. Hua Lu Gang, famous mathematician. Damn it. His research scope range from several complex variables, number theory and algebra and applied mathematics. Xian Shanghai, famous composer of the Cantata of the Yellow River, milestone piece, modern contemporary music. What is wrong with this umbrella? It's like broken. It won't stay closed. Piece is shit is what it is. They cost $45 and then they last like three months. These solar umbrellas. Lin Chiao Ji, born Fujian province, one of the pioneers of gynecology and obstetrics in China. Devoted all her life to development of gynecology. Or as I like to call it, snatch. No, I'm kidding, just kidding. <laughs> Liang Si Cheng, native of Guangdong province, born in Japan, famous Chinese architect. Liang designed the national emblem of the People's Republic of China. Ma Dun, I went to his house. He was from Zhejiang province, well-known Chinese writer, social activist, 
And the novel's Midnight Stone of the Lens and his autobiography. And he drowned himself after he got beat up by the uh, Cultural Revolution gang. A group of red soldiers, I think. They think he drowned himself after he got a beating. His house is over kind of near the National Art Museum. Shu Bi Hong, they have a little museum to him. Shu Bi Hong, celebrated Chinese master artist, born in Jiangsu province, noted chiefly for horses. Shu's representative works include galloping horses and portrait of Tagore. I think he's got a memorial house too, kind of over by the hospital. My Long Fang has a historical house too, kind of over by uh, Prince Gong's mansion. Jiangsu province, first in the four great Don characters of the Beijing opera and developed his own style called Mi style. Gu Maru, he's got a historic house too, I went to that one. Born in Sichuan province, famous Chinese writer, historian, ancient writing expert, published 1921 Goddess, first poem in vernacular verse. I think it's off Na uh, Nan Lu Gu, his house. I went to it. Li Signang from Hebei province, famous Chinese geologist, studied. The crustal movement from the perspective of mechanics and put forward the concept of structural system. Who's this wizard? Zhejiang Province, Ma Yin Chu, economist, educated demographer, advocated birth control for China, published on new population. So he was like, baby equals. Money out your pocket. Ooh, I recognize this. Lu Shun. I know Lu Shun. I can recognize him by face now. Writer and revolutionary. Diary of a Madman. A story written in vernacular language in the history of modern Chinese literature. Now with the old Confucian ideas. His, his thing. Father of modern literature in China. Kai Yuan Pai. Zhejiang Province. Modern Chinese Democrat, revolutionary and educator, advocated freedom of scholarship and all embracing approach. Chi Bai Shi, I went to his house too. Painter and calligrapher from Hunan province, it's off Nan Lugu, his house. Regarded as World Cultural Celebrity, World Peace Prize, World Peace Society. Famous painter. Calligrapher and poet. Jian Tianyu, native of Jiangxi province, pioneer in railroad engineering in China, construction of the Beijing Jiangjai Ku Railroad. They got his bust in the China Rail Museum off Tianmen. Cao Shui Qin, novelist of the Qing Dynasty novel Dream of Red Mansions. The result of Cow's Ten Years Pains, which is famed for its superb characterizations. They say Prince Gong's mansion is the inspiration for the uh, for that uh, book. It's about the fall of an aristocratic family in the Qing. Who do we have here? Shu Xiaqi, native of Jiangsu Province, famous geographer, traveler, writer, Ming Dynasty. Traveler wrote a book called Travels of Shu Xiaqi. We've got stars direct in our face. Ju Yu, tonal system specialist, Ming Dynasty, complete works, a ritual tonal system, which you put forth a series of equal temperament for first time. Li Qi Zhen native of Hubei province and renowned pharmacologist, the Ming, 27 years writing Compendium of Materia Medica. 
traditional Chinese medicine. They mention him at the uh, TCM Museum in Shanghai in Hong Kong. Salaidi, Huang Dao Po, born Shanghai innovator textile techniques of Yuan Dynasty, her famous Uni Jing quilt brought about a textile boom along the Songjiang area. Songjiang, is that the name for the Yangtze in Putonghua? I thought it was the Chang'an. Hey, get a rhythm when you get the blues. Come on and get a rhythm. Feel the rock and roll, feel it in your bone. Put taps on your toes and get on, get a rhythm. Well, I wonder if we can go up in that thing for a view. Probably not for security reasons. Security so tight in Beijing. Every place you go into here, you gotta put your bag through security to go in. And then you gotta put uh, your bag through security from the metro every time you go in. And sometimes when you cross through underpasses around Tiananmen Square, they've got more security there. Passport control and put your bag through. It's like, what? I guess it's better than going in Pyongyang where you have to have like two tour guides walk around with you the whole time. Guan Han Ching, playwright of the UN Dynasty, more than 60 poetic dramas to his credit. Representative works include Snow in Midsummer and Deliverance of a Prostitute. Li Ching Zhou, native of Shandong province, well known female poet of the Si Poem. Southern Song Dynasty, or poem, is labeled the Yi An style. Confucius. Now it's Shen Ku, Zhejiang Province, scientist, strategist of the Northern Song Dynasty. His book entitled Sketchbook of Dream Brook is one of the legacies of the world. B. Shang, inventor of the movable type printing, Northern Song Dynasty, invented the typecast from clay, which became movable characters after being baked. They invented, uh, when did he live? They don't know, but he died in 1051. They invent around like 9800, I think, uh, movable type. I think they say Korea did it first with wood. Um, but because of the East Asian uh, the high number of characters in different East Asian languages, they uh, didn't really have movable type take off because you'd have to choose thousands of characters, you know, to put together and make a paragraph. So woodcut uh, block printing was more popular where they'd, you know, C Confucian classics, you'd print them out by the thousands, but you'd have page after page exactly the same, so they just cut out the characters in wood, no movable type, and uh, do wood block printing for a long time. So, you ever see a Chinese typewriter? It's like ridiculous number of characters. In fact, when they teach young kids Chinese, Mandarin, Putonghua, they, uh, they use pinyin at first to help them. It's so complicated to become literate. Sima Guang, born Shanxi province, historian and statesman of the Northern Song Dynasty, finished Ji Diji Tangjian, first chronicle of general history in China, 1019-1086. Who's this tall guy? Du Fu, poet sage. Poetry reveals the period of Tang Dynasty from prosperity to decline, hence its deemed poetic history. Who's this with the long sleeves? Li Po, renowned poet Tang Dynasty, romantic poet after Chu Yuan. This is one of the cultural celebrities by UNESCO. 
Doolin Road, Celebrities Culture Street. That's what it was. I was trying to think of that the other day in Shanghai. Wu Dao Ji, born in Henan Province. Artist of the Tang Dynasty, produced a lot of Buddhist wall paintings and temples. Figures he painted were true to life. Yuzhou Municipal People's Government, Henan Province. Jia Si Shia, an agronomist, late Northern Wei Dynasty. Wei, I guess Wei Dynasty, Northern Wei Dynasty. Born in Shandong Province, authored Important Arts for the People's Welfare, earliest work on agriculture in the world. It goes something like, there's a time to plant and a time to reap. A time to... Ju Zhang Ji, mathematician, astronomer, mechanical designer of the Northern and Southern Dynasties, Works include Zhui Shu, nine chapters on mathematical art. Wang Shiji, born Shandong province, was a calligrapher of the Eastern, uh, Eastern Jin Dynasty. His handwriting preference of the Lantin collection of poems, high artistic value. And introducing Kai Lun from Hunan province, inventor of paper making, Eastern Han Dynasty, famous for the Kehu paper, Sehu paper, I guess. C is like TS, Sehu paper. Paper making is one of the four great inventions of China. It was like gunpowder, paper, silk, and Chinese food. Cantonese Chinese food, not so spicy. Zhang Hang, born in Henan province, he was a great scientist, writer, and inventor of the Eastern Han Dynasty. He invented the celestial globe and the mobile celestial globe. Yeah, they mentioned him at the ancient observatory here in town. Si Ma Qian, born in Shanxi province, historian and thinker of Western Han Dynasty, committed himself to writing and finished the historical records. Li Bing, hydraulic engineer of the Warring State period who designed and directed the building of the Dujiang Weirs. It is deemed to be an exceptional work in the history of hydraulic engineering. Chu Yuan, native of the state of Chu, statesman and poet of the Warring States period, Chu penned Li Sao, nine songs and other poems that have romantic qualities. Sun Tzu, from the state of Qi, military strategist in the late spring and autumn period, his Art of War, first book of its kind, advanced the universal law of war in China. You know, I haven't heard that much about Sun Tzu, surprisingly, since I've been here. Back in the ghetto, I would see little kids sometimes in school who were gang members reading The Art of War. <laughs> like, all right. Confucius was a philosopher, educator, and founder of Confucianism. The spring and autumn annals attributed to him as the first historical work in chronological style in China. Gotta be chronological. Lao Ji, stated Chu, philosopher, founder of Taoism, spring and autumn period, set down his ideas in Tao Te Ching. I'll go to the Cloud Temple later. I like to go to Cloud Temple. That's the head of Taoism in China, not far from here. Guan Zhang, native of Ying Shang, as a philosopher and politician of the spring and autumn period, his thinking was collected in the book of Master Guan Zhang. Who's the master, Leo? I'm the master. Who's the master, Leo? I guess I can walk down the central axes now of the monument.
the monument. Millennium. Cause we've got stars direct in our fate. You know that one? Millennium? <laughs> it's a song. Millennium. That guy didn't know it. Yes, that's it for the Millennium Monument. <laughs> Media Center. That's the scaled down Watergate building there. I, well, I could walk around the big old park here, but I walked around the Beijing International Sculpture Park this morning. And it's afternoon, so I'm about to get out of Dodge, my friends. I'm gonna go have me some lunch, then I'm gonna go back to a civilization. <laughs>